a very good evening, evening everyone and let's move on with the session so yesterday we have discussed was just about some kinds of uh, the plumbing introduction part like where we are and all this so today's session will actually start what exactly the plumbing we have just seen the definition and let's move on with the further okay so i hope i'm perfectly audible and my video is like uh, perfectly visible i hope so yes online i yes. think Yes. I'm just sharing the screen and I hope so my screen is also being shared with you guys. So there's some disturbance from someone and uh, please mute their microphone. I request everyone. So now, Basir is here. So in the previous session, we have discussed that where exactly we are. So we got to know that we are into the building services. So as we are dealing with the services which is being installed in the building so this is the major service and that is nothing but MEP and we are learning right now as partly M and complete P that is plumbing and partly mechanical that is firefighting as we know yesterday we've got some information that under mechanical we get is HVAC and firefighting but this whatever HVAC or plumbing and firefighting is a mechanical engineer's role he or she can deal up with this either design or draft or installation or estimation or number of things like procurement and tap testing commissioning these kinds of so this is the thing what we're gonna move on Mr. Palaya is not hearing my voice. Uh, do you guys also feeling some difficulty online or I'm audible? Audible. Yes, sir. Audible. It's audible. audible, right? Uh, Mr. Palaya, please do check from your side. I request. Okay, please do check the setting. Are you hearing me? Yes, I can. I can hear you. Okay. Okay, sir. I'm hearing your voice. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So we have seen yesterday that there are certain things over here and these are the major services what we have discussed yesterday in the pre previous session that what are the services which not only this MEP completes a building, there are a number of services which, which can be a habitable place for humans. I mean, a convenient place to live for with much facilities and all this. Okay. So we have seen these are all some major services in the building and we know this who is responsible for what kind of service. And we have seen introduction to the plumbing yesterday's session, everyone, those who have joined uh, today and they have not joined yesterday for them. So plumbing is, I can say it's any, it's, it's any kind of system, which is just to transfer uh, the fluid from one place to another in number of ways like different different applications like it may you can say in a garden sprinkler system you can say in domestic you can say in industrial you can say in commercial or irrigation so this is nothing but plumbing is a system which is conveying the fluid from one place to another but this is just the plumbing as i said even though this firefighting piping and hvac chill water piping these all under comes also in the plumbing sector now to make this happen, to transfer water from one place to another, I need a system. So that is nothing but a plumbing system. So in plumbing system, we do have a number of things like we do have some materials, like we do have some equipments, like I can say pump and some accessories and fittings and some piping, isn't it? So then I can say that's a plumbing system. So with that I have arranged in a systematic order. So from one place to another place, the fluid can transfer and serve the purpose, whatever it might be, right? So this was a plumbing system. So we have already discussed just for them, those who have not joined yesterday, just a rebrush. And we discussed that plumbing is here into two major parts. First of all is water side and second is drainage side. Water side is much lengthier. And in water side, we'll be learning about the hot water supply and hot water, cold water and these kinds of thing. And in the drainage, we'll be seeing how to deal up with the wastewater, pipe sizing and what exactly wastewater is or soil water and surface water. So we'll be seeing this major topics over here. And this, I said, just an example, this is a plumbing system, I can say, as you can see, uh, to this WC, there is a pipe connected so that the drain happens and goes in this manner and enters into the stack, I mean, a vertical pipe and goes directly outside of the building or towards the manhole. Okay. And likewise, you can see there, was, there is one connection of the water supply, this copper pipe to this laboratory. And there is one more copper pipe, the same pipe I can say supported or uh, installed uh, the right beside the WC for the hose for WC. Okay. So this is water supply and there is drainage side. So this is a combination. You can say this is a system. How I can say, because there are a number of things over here, like we do have some fittings, accessories and all this and systematic arrangement is done so that the water drains out here and goes where it wants. And from the water where it's coming and it's been served to the respective fixtures like you can see here he is collecting the skid is collecting the water here okay so this way so this is one system and this is number of different different piping materials so you can see this is like copper and this is you can say a plastic pipe we'll be seeing about the materials later on but try to understand what exactly the plumbing and plumbing system is okay 
I hope uh, you guys are following. Yes, please. Right. And we have seen the most important thing I was dealing up with IPC standard or some societies. Now, societies is something which does some research and development and they give you some recommended values in a form of application handbooks. Now, application handbook is a handbook where you use it for the application in any kind of project depends on the project like example if you have residential or commercial based on that and based on what kind of uh, thing you are having so you can easily take the recommended values for from there from that application and uh, you can do the sizing like you can do some calculations and design procedure will also be given in this so as i said this has been done by some, I mean, organizations who are, are like having some experience or they have done some research and development. So these are some societies which have like denoted like IPC, that is International Plumbing Code. As I said, International Plumbing Code is above all because it is globally accepted. Now, code has some specific things over here. Like if I talk about the second one, that is UPC, that is Uniform Plumbing Code. Now, Uniform Plumbing Code is mostly and commonly seen with the they are using is in terms of uh, gulf and us because this code is being done the research and development and the values which has been given in this application handbooks is perfectly fine or has been exactly the same as per the climatic condition as per the people over there or as per uh, like the codes exactly as per the climatic conditions i can say it's exactly the same it fits very perfectly fine with this in this particular area that is gulf and us so mostly they use this when it com comes with upc now example someone with uh from me uh like now we're having is uae and some saudi with us so you can see they have one local code i can say a local code local code refers to that particular country or that particular area Okay, so now if I say about uh, Dubai, so that is DEVA, the standards they follow is DEVA standards. So that stands for Dubai Electricity and Water Authority. Likewise, if you say about Royal Commission, that is Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So these are certain, certain codes we have already discussed yesterday. So these are all the codes. So now if, if your company, what your company is following, you need to follow that and they'll provide you this application handbook. Okay. But for your reference, we do have number of codes. Ali shall get back to, we do have number of codes over here, but mostly I'll be dealing with international plumbing codes. Okay. And what is the code and what is the requirement for the code? Why do we require the codes and all this? I'll elaborate more, but as of now, just I'm giving you a code is something which gives you uh, recommended values for the sizing, designing, or this uh, procedure, how to install, or what to material to be selected, these kinds of things. Mostly, okay. Yes, Mr. Alish. Alish yes, sir, uh, for the means different different codes. Yes. Um, what will be the sir? For example, what will be the major difference? See, I'll say you. For example, I'll give one simple example. If I talk about uh, Western countries and Middle East, what is the major difference over there? The temperature. Yes or no? There is severely chilled and here is severely hot, isn't it? Yes, sir. Right. So what happens if I tell you about it, if I relate this to plumbing, not with the air conditioning, if I relate this to plumbing, for example, a human demands water for consumption also. A human, yes, average human demands a five liters of water on an average, on a yes, daily basis, sir. he or she consumes, an adult and a, a healthy person. So what I'm trying to say, what do you think? In Gulf, it's okay. It might be more also because of the extreme temperature. What do you think in Eastern countries? That would be the same. It would be low when compared with that, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So these are the differences. So the values might change, Alish, from the code to code because this local code on the specific area, specific region. Mm -hmm. Getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So this is the difference. And you just ask me the same question when I'm dealing with the tank designing. I'll prove you with two different codes. Okay, one is Egyptian code and I'll deal with some other code. I'll show you what is the difference because in Egypt, they say that the person demands 400 liters of the water. But if you talk about local code, like a public health engineering, that is what a um, local code of Odisha from uh, this uh, uh, India, I'm saying, they say that a normal human Hello, demands... Sir, your water. voice is not coming. Hello? Yes, please. I can hear you. Who's with me? Yes, who's with me, please? Am I audible, sir? Promote you're audible. So your voice is not coming to me, I think. I don't know other part. Can I hear you? Alish and all, can you people hear me? 
yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir alish uh, mr pramod uh, please do check mr pramod might be his headset <sighs> might be might be might be might be okay mr rosefa yes sir yeah how are you yeah i'm good sir thank you so we was discussing this alish i'll i'll get back to this alish but i think you got some idea about it as if now yes yes sir yes sir, yes, right. sir. So now these are the codes. Like one, let me tell you once again. So IPC is International Plumbing Codes, which is globally accepted. Pramod, with me, so Pramod. Yes, yes. Now, now it's Ready? coming, sir. Pramod, your internet seems to be very low because your video is stuck in your actions. I could not see it at the same moment. Okay, okay. Shall I switch off my video, sir, for today? No problem. Do it. Thank okay. you. Okay, so everyone, back to the topic. So we're discussing about IPC, that is International Plumbing Codes, and this code is globally accepted. So if no one is having these kinds of code, then we will be going on with this code because this code is globally, like all around the globe, you can pick up the values and deal up with whatever the project you're dealing with. Okay, that's why it is International Plumbing Codes. Okay, so UPC, as I said, this is mostly seen in US and Gulf projects. ASP, American Society of Plumbing Engineers. This is also being used in some Gulf and again US. British Standards, BS, UK, Deva, UAE, that is Dubai Electricity and Water Authority. RC, Royal Commission, that is Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. NBC, India, National Building Code, IPA, Indian Plumbing Association, ASHRAE and Qatar Kharama for Qatar. There are a number of codes. Now don't get confused like we have NBC, National Plumbing Code also we have, NPC also we do have, okay? So don't get worried about, but code remains same. That's nothing but the application handbook over there, okay? Now, what exactly the code is, if you want to check, you can see what is exactly the plumbing code or the application handbook, how it will help you. So plumbing code is a code that provides recommended values for the designing, sizing, installation guidelines, and material of the project. So if you're referring any of the code, you'll be getting the details or the recommended values as per the application, as per uh, the project, like what kind of system you're having. So they do say that, okay, for this, you need this much of the sizing or this much of the water and a number of things like this much of the pressure and what material to be selected and how it's to be installed and all this. So these things will be all provided in and application hand apart from this you'll be getting number of things like uh, i can say the design criteria also would be written over there so you can use that and you can follow that also now why do we need this kinds of codes this, this is important now plumbing design is based on the probability always remember whenever i'm dealing with a plumbing i mean especially like i'm talking about in this plumbing so plumbing the moment i say you it's totally totally based on the probability now probability refers to the chances, for example, I'll give you one simple example. Let's see, let's uh, see the same figure. I think you can see this. There are two fixtures over here. One is uh, WC and one is laboratory. Is that so online? So probability here refers to what? Either in this both, any one will be using at the same time. Yes or no? Yes, online. Right. Hmm. So, that's, that's so that's what. So if like three or five or six or eight, ten fixtures, what happens? Only two or three would be working. Maximum, I'm saying. Okay. This is the probability. So we do design on a probability only, but only for some cases we don't deal up like this because that is peak demand. I'll come to that later on. So always remember plumbing by default as per the probability in maximum cases, but in some cases, no, it will not help. I'll come to that later. So plumbing design is based on the probability except special cases like ablution tab and residential school, because this is not applicable in this particular area. Ablution tab or ablution area is somewhere around online, I can say. In a worship place, for example, if I... The, one minute, sir. Ablu ablution tap, what do, does it mean, sir? That's what I was I was coming over there. Okay. So, for example, it's a worship area. For example, you can consider anything like, uh, let's take an example of mosque or any worship place. So, if I particularly tell you about mosque, that suits well over here. So, for example, 
we had to go for a prayer. For example, it's at 9 p.m. India time, for example. So we all went, the number of people went for the prayer. And uh, there is evolution area, like there are a number of tabs in a particular place, like side by side, side by side, where people come and sit over there and they perform evolution. That is Vuzu I'm talking about, Vudu, okay. So like they clean up their hands, face, and uh, like wash their toes and hands, these kinds of stuff, okay. So what happens over here, why I'm saying you this, this is peak demand. Because we know that prayer at a specific time, like 9 p.m. So before that, whatever the time is remaining, call for prayer. So what happens? These taps will be used back to back that to all taps because number of people, people are here or more. And they all came to perform uh, what? Uh, to, to offer some prayer over there, right? So what happens? So these taps are continuously using. It's not a, the probability, like example, 10 taps. It's not something only one or two will be using because if there are 10 availability or the seats over there, there is chances that all 10 might get used at the same time. Yes, sir. Okay. If you're not getting this, I'm having one more example. Residential school is also on the peak demand. Residential school is a school where students stay in the same premises. For example, they have a school at 8 a.m. in the morning or 6 a.m. in the morning. They get up at 4, 4.30 and there will be a big bathroom, a common area, wet area where they have as like a shower and they have WCs, everything over there or the laboratories. Okay. So what happens? What do you people think? This would be the maximum occupied thing at the same time. Why? Because the number of people, all that students need to get freshen up and rush towards the school. Yes or no? So yes, like sir. there is been chances that all the fixtures will be using at the same time that you on a continuous demand back to back, isn't it? Yes, Start yes. something like there are 10 showers, only two will be using. No, all 10 would be using. And apart from that, also someone would be waiting very next moment. The moment he comes out, one mm -hmm. will enter, isn't it? So this is what a peak demand. Peak demand refers to online. Except, except no, some, not yes. about the probability. It's an exceptional mm -hmm. case, you can see, or the peak demand. That means this fixtures we need to consider all that fixtures and move towards the designing apart from this if you are dealing in a normal it's not a special case if i'm dealing with residential i do deal up in a probable manner and the values once again online and the values whatever it's been given in the application handbooks are what mostly is what as per the probability and for the peak demand also we have one value over there but by default there are maximum values or default values or what as per the probability but peak demand if also you have one table you can use it over there therefore to design a plumbing standards and codes are required always remember some background disturbance please mr zafonia there was some disturbance i have muted your microphone yeah, please do not uh, unmute your microphone mr zafonia please Please do not unmute your microphone. I'm muting your microphone. There is some background disturbance from your side. Thank you. So now, what is the use of this code? How it can be helped? Where a building contains plumbing fixture and those fixtures requiring water must be provided with an adequate supply of water. What do you mean by this? You take any kind of the building, like residential or commercial, whatever it might be, or industrial. For sure, we do have some plumbing fixtures over there. Yes or no? Yes or no? Right. Yes, sir. And that fixtures requires a particular or a specific amount of water to work in a proper manner. What is trying to say here? So I've got first thing that you go with any kind of the uh, the project, you do have plumbing fixtures over there for sure. And that fixtures will be demanding and sufficient amount of the water to work in a proper manner. Second thing. So I got some information over here that, first of all, I need to find out the fixtures. Okay, I will see that. But if you have any, if you have the fixtures over there, I got one information as per this paragraph that every fixture do demand a certain amount of water to work in a proper manner. Yes or no? Now, if you visualize or think in a technical manner, you can answer yourselves. For example, if I say hose for WC or hose pipe, look your hose. And if I talk about compare that with shower, so which will demand more amount of water? So, what, the so, water consumption or the demand of the water is same? Yes or no? Yeah. Is, this, is it shower, same? No, shower will be more definitely. Shower will be more for sure. Right. If I talk about laboratory and shower? Again, shower. Again, shower. Very good. So I got some information that all the fixtures 
do demand different different amount of the water to work in a proper manner so what is that values also we'll be finding it out from where from the code we'll be seeing this now first thing we got that uh, every fixture demand a specific amount of water the second the number of required plumbing fixtures is specified by this code and is based upon the anticipated maximum number of occupants of the building and the type of the building occupancy now here what they are saying is the minimum number of plumbing fixtures is required if but before this i would like to say something for example everyone if you are dealing with any kind of the project okay so we do get is what civil layout yes or no or architecture layout isn't it everyone yes sir and uh, there will be nothing in that architecture layout we does the work so mm -hmm. if we read that architecture layout then only we can proceed but before doing that if you see there will be clearly suggesting that this is living room or this is living area or sitting area or this is like kitchen bedroom bathroom kitchen yes or no yes, so sir. In that areas it will be clearly mentioned or it will be showing a kind of figures like here is a wc like it looks and laboratory and here is a kitchen sink they do say that now that is all fixtures yes or no plumbing yes, fixtures okay but in case in case architecture did not give you anything he just send it to you uh, just an architecture layout without any uh, things showing in that i mean no plumbing fixtures and he said that you go with as per your experience so need not worry if it is happening in such a case then we can find out the minimum number of required plumbing fixtures okay so we'll be seeing that also like how to find out the minimum number of plumbing fixtures okay so first thing we'll be finding out is the number uh, i mean the what is the pressure required or the water required for xyz i mean the fixtures then we'll be saying this how much fixtures minimum to be there in xyz project okay or else what is saying either it can be find out by two methods first is what if you see over here anticipated maximum number of occupants i need to know this how many number of people living over there i can find out in this manner also but to find out the number of people i need again help of some data that is what for, from the furniture layout i can find out yes or no online yes sir from else, architect yes from architect okay if 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 is providing that's okay or else i need to go in this manner and second is what type of the building occupancy that means what kind of application of the building you are dealing up with if you are dealing with residential or commercial whatever so based on this because if you think in a technical manner when you compare with residential with commercial which has more occupancy i mean of using the fixtures public or private i mean this uh, public residential or commercial obviously commercial sir very good so you need to know only two things over here if it's not given so if you know this thing you can find out okay like what is the kind of application of the project and the number of people living over there so two things over here so this code provides a prescriptive criteria for sizing piping systems connected to those fixtures so if you know this only then you can find out the pipe size by having this information we'll be coming to that at the time of chapter number 7 now through the use of code approved materials and installation requirements specified in this code plumbing system will perform intended function over the life of the building what is trying to say here is like if you deal up in this manner like by following up the codes and all this you can say that or you can expect a good life and efficiency of this project if it's been installed as per the codes okay so first thing let's see over here as i said the plumbing fixtures is requiring A, pro, a sufficient amount or adequate refers to sufficient amount to work in a proper manner so we'll go and check with one code like how exactly the code can help us i'll say you so these are all application codes online you can see this is a uh, handbooks this is ashray this is asp with me ipc nbc npc and upc and some water regulation uh, from ua so as i said i'll be dealing with ipc let me open ipc that is international plumbing code and those who have get the data they can also check with me okay i hope you guys got the data everyone yes please yes online yes right so page number 59 table number is 604.3 everyone table number 604.3 okay but before this this is international plumbing code 2018 version ipc you can see okay and i'm dealing with page number 59 in this but if you want exact page number of this code this uh, page number is 
okay in the notes i mean this ipc because of index and all this it changed to 59 so back to the topic so this is 604.3 what i was talking about if you see this water distribution system design criteria requirements capacity at a fixture supply pipe outlets now these are all listed the fixtures over here this is the flow rate and this is the pressure that means this both has been required not only the flow i need a pressure for example uh if i say this for example if uh, there is we have installed a shower in an asian asian country and we have installed a shower in uh, some western country so what do you people think uh pressure in the shower would be the same or it will be different yes online what do you think same same, same. everyone agree with him so different Different. Why different? Because he is he is staying. Because of building elevation. For what? Building elevation. Suppose it's the first floor. The shower pressure will be the what? Shower pressure will be I. No, we are not floor. About elevation. I'm just talking about the fixture. No, so, I believe the pressure so should be the same because the working principle will be remain same exactly. regardless of the geographical location. Exactly. Exactly right. True. I agree with you because the geographical location and all this, but I'm Rodney talking about just with the fixture. So this fixture demands this much of the pressure and this much of the flow. That is GPM or Q. That is gallons over a minute. And this is points per square inch in terms of units of pressure. And this is what the flow or the Q. Okay. Now let's take a simple example. As just now we have seen a laboratory. So laboratory by private. So we have seen, so this is 0.8 gallons per minute. And how much is one gallon, anyone? UK gallon or US gallon? 4.5 UK and 3.785 US. Very good. Okay, and this is 8 PSI. That means if I'm dealing with this laboratory, the laboratory needs to get 0.8 gallons of water, not one gallon, less than one. Okay, so what you said, less than that value. Okay, so this is 0.8 gallons of water needs to be delivered in a minute so that the laboratory will be working in a proper manner. And with this much of pressure, if pressure is low, if I'm getting this, then again, it will not serve the purpose. I, I need not get more than this and, and more than this because excess pressure will also cause some problem and excess pressure and excess, this both is directly connected, you can say. Yes or no? Right. So this is not required less or more. Whatever we have, we have it over here because in plumbing here, what is needed will be going on with this. It's not something, but if you talk about firefighting, their case is different because there's a matter of safety. So you can do somewhat oversizing over here. If I try to do oversize over here, what happens? I'm increasing the project cost, isn't it? Not only that, running cost as well. Also. There are more things also like example, not only this, I'll be, if I, if I increase the diameter, okay, for example, let's talk an example like this, like if I'm having one inch of the pipe as per the calculation, but I go on like one, one, one quarter, then what do you people think? The pressure will automatically drop, isn't it? Yes. Right. So this is also one thing. So again, it's not serving the pr purpose. If it's more then also, it's not serving the purpose, neither less, neither more. Okay. So these are all listed kind of thing. You can note down this page number and this table number 604.3 for your reference. If you want, you can from the IPC, the values might differ. This is IPC globally accepted. That's why I'm dealing with this. So next we have seen like, let's take one more like shower. Shower demands 2.5 gallons anywhere in the world. It's like 2.5 GPM gallons per minute. So almost 3.75 times 2.5. So that much of water will be needs to deliver to the shower. And this much of pressure is being required. 8 PSI. Okay. Now, there are a number of things over here you can check. So I got one information over here that all the fixtures, whatever the plumbing fixtures, they do demand some XYZ kind of the pressure. And what they do demand is the water. So both the things like water and the pressure they do demand and the both the things over here so this was about the plumbing fixtures over here. just a minute online hello sorry about this online so this is what first of all what he said we have seen this that every do fixture do remind some specific amount of the water and the pressure it's not over there this both is important second thing what was that if you have not followed one thing that is what okay this is one more thing as I said, now there is one twist over here. This is table number 604.5, minimum sizes of the fixtures, water supply pipes. So now you might all be getting confused that we are here to learn about the pipe sizing. 
isn't it? But the prime size is given in this code. Then what are we doing now? Yes, online. Hmm? Sir, one second, please, sir. The repeat again, the question. question, please repeat it once again. Yeah, I was asking, we are here to learn the pipe sizing, isn't it? Yes, Main. Sir. Yes, so, sir. my question is now, in this table number 604.5, there are directly pipe sizes given. So, what are we learning over here? What are we doing here then? When everything is given over here, isn't it? Yes, sir. So, uh, should I we think get the course over? Vary, For individual uh, layout, it was an individual uh, fixtures. But if we have a combination of fixtures, then the pipe but size... This is the minimum sizes. Yes, Mr. Shah. Yes. Not minimum. Exactly. I can say this is the pipe size, which is by default connected to the fixture. For example, try to get the concept, everyone. I'll give you. But before this, always remember, we are here to find out the main pipe sizes, not the branches, which is directly connected to the fixture. In branches also, we do have main branches and sub branches. So that should be also sized, but only the branch or only the pipe, which is directly connected to the picture. For example, let's see this. For example, I'm calculating this pipe size, this pipe size, this all pipe size, but this pipe size, which is directly connected to this, it's default. Now this pipe, pipe size, which is directly connected to this laboratory, which is serving the water to this. So this is by default. That means we are getting this pipe sizes from this application handbook. For example, if you're installing bathtubs, tell that the main pipe size, it's okay. We have calculated as per the number of bathtubs, whatever it might be, as per the probability or as per the peak demand. But when you are connecting that bathtub towards to that main pipe, this is half inch of the pipe to be connected to the bathtub, which is 60 inches by 32 inches and smaller. Hmm. So half inch and larger also the same, that is half inch with it, three by eight. Combination sink and tray, one and a half. And if you have seen this, might be i'm saying for example if you have given any contract to the plumber in our residency i'm saying about uh, in general not because right now we are all working professionals we don't call a plumber over there because we are the one who are giving the sizes but if you have given a, a work job to be done by a plumber in our house and all this they don't do this kind of pipe sizing they directly connect half inch of the pipe to the, all the fixtures by default yes or no yes or no no one seen this observe this online yes sir Right. But, they do only. Because see, there are some changes in the different different time size, like three by four is there, three by eight is there, and one inch is also there as per the application of the fixture, because some fixtures might demand more. So as per more or less, the pipe size should vary. Yes or no? It will be varying for sure. So I got one more information that the pipe sizes need not, we need not need to find out, or we need not need to do some calculation, which is directly connected to the fixture. So we are here only just to size the main pipe size by and the rest which is to be connected to the fixtures we are having i can take and directly show in the drawing that half inch or whatever okay so this is two things over here now one more thing i would say this uh, material as i said see this is water service pipe and these are the materials with the standards over here okay this is astm that is used for the testing of materials this is american society so these are the standards over here so this is the materials required or recommended as per the what codes hmm. with this standards xyz so they are having number of pipes like you can see over here cpvc okay with this standard for the water service pipe what is water service pipe anyone the main pipe which is no. yes supplying or getting entering to the product there is main pipe you can see there's water service pipe so this is spikes pipe number of pipes over here with this standard so they have we have got the materials also over here now the most important thing we have discussed that if in case in case that architect said or he is not having time or whatever he said that you just please deal up as per your experience he has not mentioned uh what shall i say uh the minimum number of fixtures over here. So what do people think? What is a basic need of a human? Because whatever it might be, either it is industrial, commercial, residential, there are some basic things which a human needs. For example, like uh, urinal or WC, I can say, and I can say as a drinking fountain for the water, I mean the consumption. And uh, I'm talking in general right now. And the laboratory and a sink, and I can say is uh, shower, this is it. Yes or no? Everyone. I talked in general. Yes, sir. Oh, everyone. So this is it. So yeah. now let's go and check on the page number is uh, 403, I guess. Yes, here. 
403.1 online minimum number of required plumbing fixtures now you can answer me first of all let me complete this now you can understand and you people can answer me this is serial number this is classification refers to the main thing here it has some more modes over here like in this and then we do have is these are the basic fixtures a human needs in any kind of the projects first is wc that is water closets laboratories bathtubs and showers drinking fountain and other this might consider you can as kitchen sink or a laboratory okay or one sink service sink i can say so if you see this this is for the assembly in this you have these kinds of options like this is theater nightclubs bar restaurants banquet hall and all this now if you see this in a practical manner or if you observe in this urinals or wc's you can see over here here it's been separated by male and female laboratories male and female bathtubs here is nothing okay okay i'll do one thing i'll deal with this right now for example if i'm dealing with assembly and i go i'm dealing with this kind of thing like a food court or something or a bar or nightclub whatever let's take any one example let's take this like restaurant okay so in restaurant uh we do have a bathroom commonly like uh, one male different and female i mean the areas i'm talking about so what is this one per 75 and one per 75 under wc only here is male and female there are two sections made so that means if there are 75 percent persons in a particular area i mean in that hotel or in that restaurant there are 75 men over there so one wc is more than sufficient enough they are saying or it's sufficient enough for what as per the probability that means as per the usage getting but now online just think there are like uh, 300 people at the same time then how many wcs we need over there 300 divided by 75 sorry how much then four yes sir around four yes so four wcs i need it over there or we need it over there like females are like uh, i can say 180 then go with safer side go with three because 75 for what one for 75 females but two yes, 150 but actual there is one 180 now so yes, in that part three. i'm saying then i'll be going with three hmm. yes sir so this is it and the same laboratories for washing <coughs> and all this you can say one per 200 so for example if i'm having 300 uh, men over here then how much one is more than enough yes or no yes or no and this is 300 and this is 180 how much 480 so this is for 200 is one so 480 means 480 means three very good three okay now bathtubs and showers need not require because it's not residential neither commercial it is commercial commercial refers to what commercial refers to what online i'm talking about the like restaurants like uh, restaurants yeah. right, yes, sir. Maybe they are coming and uh, living over there for a couple of days okay so we don't require neither bathtubs and neither shower drinking fountain yes they require one per 500 so 480 one is enough drinking yes, fountain yes, and sir. one servicing further further enough okay now you people can say me if i give you example everyone let's go with uh, as per your anything let's go with this if we are dealing with a project prison for example and uh, in one cell one wc can you see this online see this one person wc and one person what is this what was this online laboratory here what was this bathtubs and showers one yes, this is what drinking fountain drinking, 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 drinking. servicing in one cell we are having all these things so i can say there are five basic needs of a human one is what is this wc this is laboratory laboratory bathtub or yes, bathtub and this is for water drinking i mean drinking. Uh, and this is one servicing okay for cleaning up the utensils and all this isn't it everyone now if i say this let's let's deal up with an educational institute and i'll give you write down and you people should say me right now for example if i'm having 300 students okay tell me quick now i've given you 300 students in an six, six. what are the things i needed quick just arrange in a manner and tell me how many wc's how many laboratories how many bathtubs and showers then how many kitchen sinks and how many drinking fountains oh sorry service sink and the drinking fountains quick six wc six laboratory bathtub bathtub need not require sir no uh, yes sir for educational not required. my mistake yeah 300 means six very good so six wc's six, six laboratory laboratories need not not applicable this is how much 
drinking three Water. very good and yeah. how many one servicing by default one servicing. Servicing. now uh mr samran majumdar are you following this you join late i guess yeah yeah i follow this okay fine 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 mr zephoni are you there with me yes i'm there hello i'm following yes i'm following right thank you okay so we have got some more information about this like we have seen what are the materials and we have seen over here and we have seen that uh, how to extract the minimum number of fixtures over here now i said two things over there if you know this so how i can say this as i said you take a reference of a furniture layout that number of people and as per the application you can see this application from over here and number of people you know this you can extract the minimum number of fixtures but the basic uh, fixtures is the same but the quantity might change as per the what okay. arrangement of okay. arrangement the living style uses right so this is one thing and second is what we got some information that every fixture do demand certain amount of water to work in a proper manner with some respective amount of the pressure and next thing what we got we have water closet is wc prale this one is wc water closet will be coming to that we are just in the basics okay okay sir. this table will be applicable mostly by architectural engineers only because what we will get directly number of fixtures everything we will get from the architectural drawing yes 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 that's what that's what i said na this was directly being given by them but in case i am saying for example what happens i'll say this happened to me if it's a very small project they don't do they'll say you do it by yourselves okay okay but that's what i said you in the beginning only do not get worried online if they if nothing is given then you can follow but in 99% i can say this plumbing fixtures will be shown directly on an architectural layout you can visibly clearly see them okay but in case if they are saying they don't have it you they are saying you do it by yourselves then we can or we can propose them and you need not just say this like whatever you see and just say you need to give the reference also like ipc 2018 application handbook table number 403.1 isn't it then only it will be accepted mm. yes or no yes right so this is some things over here so we have discussed and learned about some codes whatever the code you are following this gives the same kind of information but the values might differ so do not get confused with the values but the content will be same because code refers to what the same research and development the recommended values for the sizing installation material and xyz kinds of thing okay so code is code whatever now they you need to decide or the company would be deciding that in that particular area which is suitable by them or in that particular region they'll extract that code or they'll be use that code because that is perfectly fitting fine for their particular region or country or whatever it might be okay above all is ipc if they are not mostly they can you can use for ipc hmm i hope that's clear online <clears throat> now in plumbing systems we'll be dealing about uh, domestic cold water system we'll be seeing this how to and domestic hot water we'll be dealing with garden water sprinkler system drainage system water and soil that is sorry waste and soil then we'll be dealing with vent stack i mean vent system and uh, single stack double stack and strom drainage system or the rain water system so these are some major kinds of things over here will be what will be dealing up with how to design and how to uh, deal up with the sizing and how to do the routing and everything hmm. so this is all we going to learn in future now chapter 1 one, once again mr pralaya for you what you have asked introduction plumbing once again is a system which can convey i mean the transfer fluid from a wide range of applications as i said the same thing over here now we'll be deal dealing this later on now what kind of fluid we are dealing it over here that is important first of all what is fluid anyone is fluid difference from liquid or no anyone any technical uh, fluid can be gas is which can flow liquid and gas both perfectly fine yes okay now so what fluid we are having it over here as a medium we are having is that is h2 or the water so let's learn about this fluid its some properties and how it acts and what are the things over here what is this technical name you can say and number of things over here so water is a chemical compound it is a liquid which boils at 100 degree centigrade and freezes at 0 degree centigrade and it consists of water molecules or else i can say it consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen if i'm not wrong that's what a technical or a chemical name of this isn't it now each molecule 
contains of two hydrogen atoms joined to one oxygen atoms. That's why from here the names comes as H2, that is two hydrogen and one oxygen. Isn't it everyone? It is an excellent solvent. You can dissolve anything in it. That's why it's an excellent solvent. And a result, normal drinking water contains dissolved substances such as iron, manganese, calcium, magnesium, sulfate, and fluoride. And these are such minerals which is essential for bodies to perform and for the growth purpose. And you know this, for your information, I'm going somewhat uh, moving towards the topic or leaving the topic. What exactly that is like, uh, if you read about the human body, our body is like 60% uh, or 70% of the water content. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Everyone agree with this? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's what. So it plays a very important role in our life. Okay. So I have it also contains. Here. Yes, please. First point, water is a chemical compound. It is a liquid which boils at 100 degrees centigrade and freezes at 0 degrees centigrade. Yes. So it's not compulsory. It has to boil at 100 degrees centigrade. It can boil in less temperature also. Yeah, it can be. It depends upon the atmospheric temperature. Mm, yes, it depends if on. It is directly uh, proportional to temperature. There is a pressure increase at the same time. Yes, I think, uh, I think he's talking where the sum of the application where the atmospheric pressure reduced. So the water boiling temperature also reduce. True. That is different thing. I'm talking in a general manner as of now. <laughs> what you people are saying is accidentally. That is considerable. But as of now, if we go in that deep, some people here, if they are new, they might get confused or some pressure. Yes, in I, I agree. Right. So it also contains some dissolved gases apart from this kinds of minerals. It, ha it also has some gases involved in this. That is O2, oxygen, nitrogen, and CO2. Many of the above minerals are essential for the health and proper growth for our bodies. The presence of these minerals usually imparts a much more pleasant taste to the water. That means it adds if there are sufficient enough of the nutrients, okay, and this, that is adding more pleasant taste towards to the water. Now, pH of the water, pH stands for potential of hydrogen. That means how much of hydrogen is there over here. That has been measured on 0 to 14 scale. And this is mostly done by chemical engineers, but still uh, we need to learn something because we are dealing with this is our fluid. So we need to know at least some basics of this. So that's why we are moving towards this basic. It refers to the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution. It is the measure of the acidity or alkalinity of a solution. The pH value ranges from 0 to 14 on a pH scale. The pH scale is nothing but potential of hydrogen. And uh, when you measure this kind of water by an instrument, so you get a value that is in between 0 to 14. If you go between uh, like... Uh, less than six or six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Zero is the most acidic water. And this six and eight is the neutral water or natural water. The best water is in between this 6.5 or seven or 7.5. And then after seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is alkaline in nature. Okay. So we don't need because both is not good for human body. Okay. Following online. Yes. So the pH of natural water varies. Natural water in the Bible means the rainwater is talking about approximately around six to eight and depends on the type of rock. From where we get the water? Underground, right? We do do some process. So we do have this. And if it's like a river, it flows from one place to another. If it's like coming across in touch with any rocks where in previous thing or it coming across a kind of... Uh, land which was having previously like acid rains and all this then it will be getting some what transferring that kinds of things towards the water and where they the ph value changes so they might be acidic or in alkaline in nature following online so that's what i think you have heard about ppm also parts per mil million yes. tds yes, total dissolved solids yes yes Right? They measure. For example, if you call any other person, they come and they check your water and they say, okay, your this TDS is this much. So this is very difficult. You might get XYZ problems if you consume this. Most example, mostly they say that kidney stones, isn't it? Yes or no? Then they'll suggest you for XYZ kind of uh, arrows. Okay, that's a different thing. Okay, so this is the pH of the water, which is normally 6 to 8. And this might depend on the type of the rock which is through it is passing by. And in some areas, it may be low as four, example, due to acid rains. So if there acid rains was occurring, so this 
pH value might be four. This is dangerous. If four, three is more dangerous, two is more dangerous, and zero is the most acidic. Okay, I'll show you that scale also how it looks. The pH scale ranges from zero to fourteen, which measures the acidity on my left hand side and alkalinity on my right hand side. Towards the fourteen, alkaline, most alkaline. Towards the zero, most acidic water. Now. Acidity increases as the pH value decreases, and alkalinity increases as the pH value increases. The same thing, yes or no? Now pH less than seven, solution is called as acidic. pH greater than seven, solution is called as alkaline. So this is the scale. This is neutral. So this is our range. We humans can compare or we can have consumed this water. This is okay. But if you go this, this is most acidic water. This is red in color. Can you see this? Most dangerous. It's complete acid. You can see. So this between six and eight is something what we can consume. Okay, got this online. Uh, uh, why do they add hydrochlorocarbon in the water? I have no idea in this. Hydrochlorocarbon might be for the treating because uh, I'm just saying because I have no idea in this because I'm a mechanical graduate, not chemical because I've done this much research on this. So that's what. And uh, can anyone answer if they wanted to? Uh, I the reason i'm asking is i've heard from someone that to maintain the ppm of the water they add uh, parts per million yes maybe uh, what what exactly is ppm sir uh, parts per million will be coming that okay. like it's kind of percentage you can say like example we measure percentage in terms of 100 parts per million is kind of a percentage in terms of 1 million okay 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 sir. fine online and uh, that's it end of today's session okay and there is no fire fighting lecture i hope so sir so we yes. before leaving i just want to have a chat with yeah please i'll just get back to i'll connect to you in a minute okay yeah so, uh, actually so uh, we got uh, only the upc data book ipc we don't sorry sorry you did not got I, ipc data book you got just ipc you're saying no you upc no uh it's not that it's it's a complete bunch okay it's, it's a zip file please unzip that you can find all if no then don't worry you can send uh, it to directly again if it's by mistake not only you you all guys check the complete data okay then we'll be helping it out if it's <coughs> message in the group inshallah ali sir will be helping you out okay yes sir and when you are scheduling for car parking webinar Right now, no. Unfortunately, my MD is uh, not feeling well, and that's the reason uh, he has cancelled. Yes, uh -huh. it's already been done. Today is the second lecture for plumbing and firefighting. Unfortunately, today is no 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 lecture for the firefighting. Yes, Just done. Oh. Okay. Uh, are we going to learn uh, how to extract the data from architecture layout? <laughs> yeah, we will. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, good luck. Thank you so much, everyone. Good night. Bye bye, Mr. Shada. You can directly connect with. Indian passwords sir yes okay thank you so much namaste okay bye bye, -bye. Mm -hmm.